this video starts, make sure you subscribe and turn on that bell so you can check out whenever I release a new video. Now enjoy the video, see ya! Uh, what's up guys, it is Saluna King Kaiju and welcome back to another video which in uh, which in today's video it's another Godzilla 2 video. Uh, today we are exploring this website that I found called Monarch Files. Well, not, not Monarch Files, uh, Monarch Sciences. And uh, here, you guys can just pause to read this right here. Yep, so, um, yeah, you guys gotta just pause that, right? yeah. So, um, anyway, this is Monarch Sciences, where, um, apparently, according to some kaiju YouTubers, a lot of stuff is being found. Uh, I'm just gonna go here first. Titanus, Titanus Mon Monsera. Now, if you guys do not know what this mean means, um, this technically just means Titan Mothra, which in the MonsterVerse they're now gonna call the Kaiju Titans, which they usually call the Mutos, which I liked better, but oh well, and it's Titan Mos Mothra, so that's translated to English means. Titan Mothra and uh, okay So we have um Excess case files Titan Mothra Super species profile Monarch designation Mothra classification Titanus Mothra nature unknown body height 52 feet wingspan 803 feet Range unknown. Declassified civilian operative files. Cryptid cryptid profile. From arrays Nazca lines to the hidden temple of the moth. The name Mothra is woven throughout the most secret mythologies of our planet. The folklore and fairy tales tell of a winged creature of blinding light. An angel of the clouds who god, whose godlike luminescence has the power to shatter the sky. Oh, look at this, guys. Guys, we're going, it looks like we're going to get an original Toho style Mothra design here. That's probably what it's, what's going here. So we need a monarch ID for something. Oh, and we can also um yeah, I'm gonna install the um yeah, there's a file here that I can um get to. Okay, so we have Mothra. Hold on, what's a monarch ID? Okay, so my ID is. Okay, so let me just download my ID. I'm gonna open up this um creature case file, whatever. Yep. So we got Mothra's uh case file. Yeah. Hey guys, look at this. It's like a picture of Godzilla, and then. Uh, Okay. Now let's take a look at um my monarch ID. Okay. Titanus Masura. Hold on, guys.
on guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna be on this website for qu quite a while, guys. From now on, now that we have some sort of official Godzilla website to do stuff on. Okay, before we go check out any other thing in here, we need to go and see if we can find Godzilla first, or maybe even King Ghidorah. Oh, people keep saying that King Ghidorah's somewhere in the frozen Antarctic, and there's something here. There, Monster Zero. Found him. Guys, Monster Zero is another name for King Ghidorah. Uh, refer to old Godzilla films to see why. Okay, um... Okay, so... Monarch Designation, Monster Zero, Classification Unknown, Nature, Bioelectrical... Body height, 521 feet. King Ghidorah's gonna tower over Godzilla. He's gonna tower over Godzilla. Wingspan unknown, range unknown. Declassified civilian operative files. Cryptid profile. Okay, so we got a nice little drawing of Ghidorah here. Let me just download that as well. From the Hydra to the Rainbow Serpent, myth was was the compass that led us to the resting place of the three-headed titan. A name unspoken through millennia of whispered nightmares. A living extinction event named the one who is many. We call it Monster Zero. The one who is many. That kind of makes sense because like Ghidorah has three heads with three minds and three different thoughts with three different what's the word um consciences yeah so it's like three living creatures creatures into one creature which it's described to be like um a um what, what was it called yeah a living a living extinction event So, yeah, so let me just open up, um, Ghidorah, okay, yeah, there's that, now let's see if we can find Godzilla, because the yeah, I remember from watching a video from um, a kaiju YouTuber called D-Man 1954, his live stream. He showed that right here, this is where Godzilla is. Approximately here, right there. But apparently, we can't click on him. And here's Titanus Rodan. Here we go, Rodan. Okay. Wait a second, wait a second. Monarch designation Rodan classification Titanus Rodan. Nature biovolcanic. Body height 
154 feet. Wingspan, 871 feet. Behavior, destroyer. DESTROYER. Okay, so that means that Rodan does have a possibility of being one of the villains. Or a villain at some point, but then probably teaming up with Godzilla and Mothra. To try and kill uh, King Adora. Um, range worldwide. Okay. So Rodan apparently has wings, in, according to this. Mm. Within a monarch containment facility atop the active. Isla de Mona Volcano, a mysterious titan lies in phyrostatics within the restless magma. The legends speak of it as the fire demon, or the one born of fire. But a similar name echoes through the ancient temples of volcanically active regions, Rodan. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Let me just download L Rodan's profile. So, we can't access Godzilla's yet, I guess. Yeah, oh, wait a second. So, the ones that say classified and stuff is like, yeah, classified, that's classified. Do we have any other red markers anywhere? Yeah, that's Titanus Mothra. There's one in Australia? No. Oh yeah, there is probably one, but it's locked. All I know is that, um, this one is most likely Godzilla. This one right here. So yeah. Can I click that? Nope, I can't. Click that. Hmm. I guess, um, so this is the North Pole, and then this is the South Pole where Ghidorah is, like, right here. So, uh, yeah. Right now, we don't have access to Godzilla's yet. But yeah, that's just the yet. So keep your hopes up still. So apparently this is live. This website's going live all the time. And changes are made apparently every single second. So from where we saw before with having Godzilla. Um, hold on. From having Godzilla right here. I'm pretty... I'm actually pretty sure he was right, right there, wasn't he? Wasn't he like right there, like there? And now he's like there? Or am I just imagining things? I'm probably just imagining things, but um... Yeah, apparently they update it so that every few seconds, like um... Every few minutes, like, it gets updated and maybe like Godzilla's thing moves closer. Maybe that's Godzilla. Or maybe that's Godzilla. That could be Godzilla. What, wait, what is that? Wait a second, that's not Godzilla. That's Godzilla. Last known, last known location. Offline. What? What? Okay, so Godzilla's apparently, it looks like he's heading towards... Rodan. It looks like he's heading towards Rodan. That's that kind of looks like where he's going. Like, look at that. Look at that. Now, what's this? So we can click on that button. That heart rate offline. And last known lo location. Hmm. 
Hmm, so Godzilla's on the move right now, so we did get access to him after all. Let's see if there's any other tiny specks around here that we need to look at. Actually, I want to see if Skull Island and Monster Island are here somewhere. Wait a second, so we unlock things. Okay, I found, um... So, we now have access to the declassified one. But yet we still can't access it. Yeah, it's not letting us access it though. We've unlocked it, but we can't go on to it. For some strange reason. Oh, wait, there it is. There it is. Declassified. Civilian operative files. A volcanic internal combustion system of magma flows throughout a body covered in rock like scales that act as geothermal armor. What? Okay, so his wings will be kind of rocky, but not literally rock. So it's like some kind of armor for Rodan. While much larger in size, Rodan has a skeletal structure similar to that of a of a of a pterodon. Well, didn't we all know that? One of the earliest vertebrates. Hey, this is something we're working on at school right now: vertebrates and invertebrates. So. Oh well. Vertebrates known to have developed the power of flight. Just as Kong is king of the primates, Rodan may have been once been king of the skies. Because of the extreme temperatures within this particular containment facility, current lab equipment can't function properly. As a result, thermal heat signatures on the creature are impossible to collect. And, mo and Monarch Detect crews conducted cardiograms via aerial satellite for life sign detection and verification. Much like the volcano that, incub that incubates it, Rodan is alive but dormant. Okay. So what we can tell from here is like Rodan is right now alive but he's dormant. Um, hold on. Yeah, that was the, the first Rodan picture. Then we have the second Rodan picture. That. So is our remarkable use of color. Chen analyzed found traces of blood in the pigment. Perhaps to honor the fallen that fought against Rodan? Or as an offering for his being vi violence? I don't. I can't tell. Hmm. Uh, um, yeah, let's actually see if anything's changed with Mothra and Ghidorah, let's check Mothra first, okay, so we do have a declassified version of Mothra, oh, here it is, ancient spirit tablets discovered in the mountain jungles of Yuren, Yunnan province portray a giant winged alpha of the Lipidora Tarot order. In all of our findings, human civilization is pictographically shown in poses that imply defecation of the so called queen of the monsters. Ooh, it is a thing now! Godzilla is the king and Mothra is the queen! It is a thing! Ooh, hashtag. Um, kaiju ships confirmed. Godzilla X Mothra forever. <laughs> um, one of the monsters suggesting the creature was once a uh, being part of the natural order. 
When Monarch Containment Crews discovered the live Titan Chrysalis within the Chinese myth site, Dr. Emma Russell was quickly dispatched to closely monitor the creature that lay dormant within it. A quickening sonar pulse suggests that the creature is awakening. If she ever emerges from her ancient slumber, a superspecies that once illuminated the sky will be reborn as Mothra. Okay, let's go and download this picture so I can so um we can um see what's up with this. So it's a uh, ancient Lepidurus superspecies. Graham Mosera. Mm. So we still have the declassified left. Okay, so. Okay, guys, so we have the declassified version of um, King Ghidorah now. So, yeah, let's go check that out. Declassified civilian operative files at, at a monarch containment facility deep in the frozen tundra of Antarctica. A three-headed winged serpent of ancient yet unknown origin lies frozen within a galact glacial tomb of ice. This is easily dwarfing Godzilla at a height of over 500 feet tall. Oh my gosh, guys! I already told you, like, look at this! This thing! King Ghidorah is already dwarfing Godzilla. Like I told you back in the top part, that um he was um dwarfing Godzilla, and he was way bigger. Five hundred feet tall. Cranial scans reveal a divergent frontal lobe density uh in the brains of the three heads, den denoting each head has a disparate levels of cognitive functions and especially um, even independent thought wow i was right let's look at godzilla's tracker again nope he's good so let's look at this so if you guys can hear my annoying brother in the background um what so is our monster zero the one who is many Graham, ancient Sumerian inscription translates to Death Song of Three Storms. What does that mean? What does that mean? So let's track Godzilla again. Okay, so Godzilla's still, I guess, where he is. Usually, he's still slumbering at the bottom. I wonder what else we can find. Uh, I guess we could click around all of these. I don't know, really. Um, yeah, um, I, until I figure out what's going on in here and stuff, yeah, I'll just get back to you guys soon, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, like, subscribe, and peace out, and see ya!